uh, we're going to try to be offering a tech bike at almost every early out that can just help with some planning and thinking. My tech bike today is a small one, but it was one that I felt was important because last year um, we were doing research and having the kids have access to doing research in the web. Even though we have a filtering system, it didn't seem to filter things as well as we would. But you individually can help that by putting restrictions on the iPad. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. And if there's any questions, you can stop by and ask me if you're doing it. You would have to do it on each child's iPad themselves. Um, because you put the restrictions on, you don't want them to know how to on do the restrictions. <coughs> um, you would go, oops, come on here. You would first of all go to settings. And we want to go to general, which is, I'm already on general, right here. And then you scroll down and you look for restrictions. Now, it'll say enable restrictions. That's going to allow you to go in and restrict what you want used um, availability on the iPad. And to enable it, you're going to have to put in a code and not the code that your kids use to get in. You want something that they don't know about. I was afraid that I would forget the code I didn't use, so I'm using the last four digits of my telephone number when I do it on the kid's iPad. So think of something that's not going to give up one of your own passwords that can be a code. If you want to change the restrictions now, you have to use that code that you chose to get in. So now I can get into here and I can restrict things. I can actually not let anybody go on Safari if I don't want them. If I don't want them to do any web search, I can totally block it out. Um, same with camera use, um, installing apps. Um, if we don't want them installing apps right now, I want to be able to put apps on there so that should be open. If you want to make sure that they can't delete apps, I would close that off so they don't accidentally delete them. Um, you can look at those restrictions, but I'm going to scroll down for allowed content. And there's ratings. There's different content you can do. I'm not going to worry about it if it's something that I don't use at school, but even if you had children at home and you wanted to restrict it, you could go into movies. What do you want to allow? Um, I, maybe I don't want to allow movies, or only G. So I'm G and PG. None of them would show. So you can restrict what is accessible <coughs> on the um, content. Um, for me, as a teacher, what I wanted to do was restrict the websites. So I'm going to go on here, and right now, this is allowing all websites. So there's, I can limit the adult content <coughs> by checking this. It's not perfect, but some of the words that kids would typically type into Google won't take them to any sites. It'll block it. If they, um, even if they spell some things wrong, but there are some things that that still get through. Like I typed sex, nothing showed up. I typed sexting, something still showed up. So it's not perfect, but it's going to help restrict content that's maybe not filtered out by our main system. Um, you also, you can be even more specific. You can say, I am only going to allow specific websites. And here's some um, right here. But, let's see, I'm going to go back here. I can go here and I can choose. I can always allow certain websites and I can never allow certain websites. So if there's things you don't want the kids on, you just type their website and they can't get in. Or if you're <coughs> only allowing certain things um, added, you can do that. So you have a little bit of more control about what your kids can access. It just, it just helps and it gives me peace of mind if I do this one check on each kid's iPad. And that's something that you would want to do, not the And what kids. one does that say, limit? Um, I'll go back here. What is the one check? Okay, going back to, this is the general. Yep. And you're in, you go, I'm going to go all the way back. In general, you're going to scroll down yep. until you get to restrictions. Yep. And now I can't even get in to change it until I put my password in because I did. And now I, I'm scrolling down to websites because that's what I was most concerned about in my classroom. And I just checked limited adult content. 
Okay. All right. And sometimes, sometimes there's things that maybe are not bad that your kids always want to go on. That's where you could go in and limit those um, to keep those up. Any other questions? Okay, let's keep our kids safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.